guys how are y'all good i hope uh i'm in my spot to show you guys some stuff we have been here and there and everywhere today just a little very sporadic random stopping in and out of places no real reason to go into any of these places but we go anyway so it's a little bit of dollar tree a little bit of 99 cent only a little bit of thrifting a little bit um i'm just gonna jump in the first thing i'm gonna show you guys because it's like right here is are a few things that i picked up at those so-called dollar stores the ones that say they're a dollar store but they're not really a dollar store they have a few dollar items and then 199 299 399 up to five bucks those kind of tick me off because their signs are always one dollar outside until you walk in uh but i've been driving by this particular one forever and i could tell by the layout and the name of it it's going to be one of those but i went in anyway because we hadn't been in and um the good thing about some of these places is while they do sell some of their stuff a little more expensive than you would get at a dollar store uh there's still some really nice house things in there that you can get way cheaper than let's say walmart or whatever blah 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 let me jump into what i got um now this particular store was a mess and when i say a mess i should have videotaped it it was crazy it's like some of the stuff hadn't been dusted in like forever the aisles were crowded and dark um, they had boxes of stuff that they were putting up on display, but just all over the place kind of had to go around them over them uh, To really look at stuff, but they were really well stocked a lot of really neat stuff um, and The houseware aisles as crammed as they were I was able to find just a few two little things that I just absolutely fell in love with the first thing was this picture frame with these awesome little blue baubles. Baubles. Look at the stonework on that. Isn't that pretty? That is so gorgeous. It has a little enamel swirl. Y'all know I love me some enamel swirl. And it has these different colored little gems. So pretty. I don't need another picture frame. I don't. But I couldn't resist it. It was so gorgeous. And it was... $1.99. Can y'all see that? Maybe. Perhaps. $1.99. Which I didn't mind paying at all because look at all the awesomeness you get for two bucks. Very pretty. And the other thing I found, um, they had a whole really nice display. Huge display of these giant smellified candles. And they had all kinds of smells. And I was there a good half hour sniffing all the ones I could reach because they had the whole shelf full of them. I picked one called Crepes New Orleans. And it's a pretty big sucker. Uh, it's 18 ounces. And it smells like caramel and chocolate and vanilla. <sighs> It smells like a crepe, I guess, because it's, yeah, vanilla-y and cinnamon-y and a little bit of a little chocolate because you can dust your little cocoa powder on top of crepes. Oh, I want one now. But anyway, I put this back a few times because, like I said, I'm in a dollar store, so I want dollar items. And it was really bugging me that I couldn't get this monster for a dollar, and that's just not right, blah, blah, blah. But then I really focused on the price, and the price is $3.99. And when you really look at what you're getting, a nice candle with awesome scents, um, and the ones at Walmart, maybe this size or even smaller, and those are five bucks. So I thought I'd give this a try for $4. I can't imagine it not stinking up my house really awesome because it's such a nice scent. And for you pumpkin lovers, man, I swear, I kept thinking y'all, they had the pumpkin spice. They had uh, um, Walk in the Leaves. They had all kinds. But this one was just mild enough where I think it'll make the house smell good without giving me a tummy ache because some of them are so awesomely scented, but they're very, very strong and they make my stomach hurt. I don't like too many food smells even awesome smells in the house i'm weird that way but i think that one's gonna just stinkify it nice and neat um 
just because this is here, I went to the grocery store and I picked up some groceries and I hit the dollar aisle in my grocery store because last time I found those awesome little rose and sandalwood candles and I found some more. Uh, these were a buck at my grocery store and I love this. I cleaned them out the last time. It's uh, the sandalwood and rose. It's a soy blend scented, can scented candle by some brand named Mondo Bello. Mondo Bello Aromatherapy, and I cleaned them out last time, and they only had two of the rose sandalwood, so I took them. Um, and didn't feel bad about it either, so I picked those up. And then, it's pretty late in the month, but I hadn't bought my um, my little sinful, yummy pleasures. Uh, I picked up my People Style Watch for September, and my InStyle for September. I mean, these... I love these magazines. You guys have heard me tell you plenty that I go through and I cut out uh, outfits that I like and then I go to the thrift stores and I try and copycat the outfit. Well, I have to get these. For years and years and years, I've had to get that. If I don't get anything else, if I don't thrift, if I don't go to a dollar store, I have to get my um, magazines for per month. Um, and then this People Style Watch uh, Special Edition I thought was awesome. It's a special issue, everything you need to get your best look. So I thought there's going to be some really awesome um, copycat pictures in there. But yeah, I have to have my little fashion magazines. They're my guilty pleasure. Uh, we went to 99 Cent Only, uh, picked up some groceries. Not anything I'm going to show you, you know, show you. It's not very interesting. Same old, same old stuff that I've done on hauls before. But I came across these awesome little, not even little, these awesome salad containers. You get this big dome bowl. This could feel like salad for two or like to take somewhere. But it's this nice dome bowl. And the cute thing is it has your dressing, a uh, little doohickey for your dressing and a fork. How friggin' cute is that? That is awesome. And uh, I got one in blue. Oh, lordy. And then I got one in green. They had uh, a red one. But I'm real OCD when it comes to having odd number of things. Like, I have to have two or four or six or eight even numbers of anything. And even two of something drives me nuts. I like to have minimum a four of anything that is one of my weirdo quirks and I couldn't have three. I didn't want two blue or two green or two red. I I wanted to mix the colors and they didn't have a fourth color so I only bought two because that three trust me would have driven me insane. It's just weird. I'm weird that way. And then I found these awesome breezy brand dryer sheets and I wish this was smelly tube because this friggin' scent on these things is so awesome. It's so clean and fresh. I kid you not, I could probably lie in bed and prop this under my nose and it would aromatherapy my butt to sleep. It is so awesome. I'm hoping my oldest doesn't react to this because he has very sensitive skin and he has reacted before to um my switching of detergents and dryer sheets and fabric softener so uh i don't think i'm gonna use this on his clothes better be safe than sorry but this is awesome guys this is the hawaiian breeze scent they had an original scent which smelled incredible but this one just blew my socks off so i grabbed that and that's all i picked up at 99 cent only uh like i said we didn't have any plans today we just got up out of the house went and visit my mom and on the way back we just stopped here and there and here and there um we went to 99 cent, 99 cent only. I already showed you that. We went to the Dollar Tree and I picked up two of these purple uh, oven mitts to match with the purple dish towels that I've been getting. The zigzag chevron pattern and just my plain solid purple ones. I bought two little um, oven mitts and two of the pot holders. You get two for a buckaroonie. You get two of these for a buck, and then you get a dollar each for these. But couldn't resist them. Grab those. Um, I picked up two sets of burner covers because I'm surprised I haven't burned my house down. 
I have burner covers on my stove that I love and have loved forever, never, never. And it's this old world looking um, grape motif design. And I've burned three of them because I turn on the wrong burner while the burner cover is on them. And what is that? And my burner cover is charred. So only one of my burner covers looks good anymore. And I have been looking for a grape themed, a wine theme, a purple something to tie into what I got going on in here and back here. And I can't find it anymore. And I don't remember where I got those. So I figured, oh, the heck with it. I'm just going to get some chef ones because I'd rather have something that doesn't match completely than some raggedy, burnt up um, burner covers. But I'm going to miss those. I am. It's time to just let them go. But I picked up two of those. I grabbed... I'm gonna, my lord, people. Lord, I need to stop saying that. My goodness. Don't take his name in vain. I don't think he likes it. No, he doesn't. Okay. I got some more of this uh, Suddenly Salad and Creamy Italian. I found this before, and I love it, love it, love it. Easy dinner. Slap it together. I can take some to lunch in one of these. Um, I love this stuff. But I had never noticed the little extra recipes in the back. This one in particular uh, says you can add salami. So I picked up two of the Hormel Genoa salamis. And I think we are going to have this for lunch tomorrow. Maybe. I'm not sure. But I liked the recipe on the back. So I went ahead and grabbed that. I found two more of these cutie rooty little lip balms i found the sugar daddy um caramel scented lip balm i love sugar daddies and then the junior mints and these are mine because these are two of my favorite candies in the whole wide world and i just want these so grab those then i picked up one of the la colors Rapid dry top coat. I want to see how rapid dry rapid dry is. Does it dry matte? Does it dry shiny? I've seen some of you guys hauling this stuff and y'all say good things about it, but I don't think that I've heard anyone specifically say if it dries shiny or not. My fingernails are very rarely painted, but I like my toenails to be glossy. So I wanted to try this one. I never put a top coat on my toenails. Um, so um I bought that one and then I bought just a regular LA Colors base coat top coat just to have something to make my toes twinkle then i picked up some gallon size storage bags because i got this awesome idea from my sister-in-law and i don't know why it never occurred to me to do it um i'll sometimes make a lot of spaghetti sauce or a lot of like when i make caldo i have um a lot of the base left the, the soupy part left and freezing it in the little Freezer containers takes up a lot of room in my fridge, my freezer. And what she does, and I used to think it was strange, but now it makes perfect sense to me. She will put those type of liquid things in these bags. And what she does is she holds it up this way. And she, she puts it in her freezer and then stacks up her boxes of waffles or ice cream or whatever. Mushes it up against it so all the liquid kind of swooshes up. And it freezes that way. It freezes vertically vertically yeah it freezes vertically it's really cool she has to leave a little airspace at the top so you can get a squish um but yeah and i was like that is so freaking awesome that's a really good idea but that is all i picked up at the dollar tree and we went thrifting um my little dude wanted to go to this particular thrift store that i hadn't gone to in a while not too long but in a while it's uh thrift mart the one that has the three tags on clothing on sale every week three color tags and I did not look at the clothes he wanted to go because he loves the toys their their toy selection is a friggin trip it is disorderly chaos but a huge selection for him to look through and he loves it and he wanted to go to the red junk store he tags them by color so I took them and I didn't look at the clothes because usually with such an awesome deal is three color tags Everything is pretty much picked over. Um, and I don't want to buy anything spur of the moment because winter's coming soon. And I have to go through my closets and make room for some stuff that I might find thrifting that just has to come home with me. But I did find two things there uh, while he was 
I haven't had a chance to clean them. Like they're still wrapped. Um, I found this awesome, I don't know what it is. It's a doodad. It's a shot, shot skis, knickknack. I have no idea what it is. Uh, there's dirt in it. So apparently somebody was using it as a planter, but look at that color. This color blew my mind and it was pushed to the back. I was like, why would something this pretty be pushed to the back and all the junk in the front? Maybe somebody was hiding it, but I found it. Love the color. And I thought it was like painted on. Like this reminds me of the 1970s. My mom used to have a lot of this oddball stuff in her um, living room. But some of it, I come to find out the older it got was just like painted on. The, the color was painted on on the inside and it starts to chip and you end up with just a clear glass object art. And I thought, oh, it's going to be one of those. And there's not going to be any point because I'm not going to be able to clean it or wash it. It's going to start to flake. But no, this glass is hand blown and the colors in the glass. It's not painted on. I thought it was gorgeous. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. I think I'm going to put makeup brushes in it. I think. Um, But it was... They wrote it on here. It was a dollar ninety one. Oh yeah, you're not gonna be able to see that. They, oh yeah, you can kind of sort of see a dollar ninety one. And all of their knickknackery, most of their knickknackery is a dollar ninety one, and I couldn't leave it there. It was so pretty. I love it. It's so retro looking, like seventies, like something my mom would have in her um in her living room. Then I found this. It is, oh goodness, they taped the heck out of this monster. This was also a dollar ninety-one. Yeah. A dollar ninety-one. And it's a cup. It's a duh. Y'all can't tell it's a cup. It's a teacup in the shape. Oh, I can't untape it. I want to look in it and make sure I wasn't uh punk and I got something chipped or broken, but I don't want to be too rough with it. Um, sorry. I'm telling you, we got home not too long ago, and I said, let me go on ahead and make this video so I can get everything washed and cleaned and uh, put away. I'm going to make that salad here in a little bit, but, oh. Okay. It's, yeah, no chips. Yay. It's this real pretty cup with a little oak leaves and little acorn raised motif on it nice and clean and perfect no chips and the little lid with acorn on top i don't think i've ever had a mug with a lid but i think it's awesome that way you don't get nasties in it flying around who knows what might be flying around uh and i'm assuming it'll keep your stuff nice and hot longer than without a lid but this was adorable and it's purple my favorite color are you kidding me and it's fall themed and awesome and beautiful and i grabbed that but that was all we did today uh, i wanted to just show you guys the stuff uh, before i put it all away and as usual wanted to say hola um thanks for watching i hope you guys are having an awesome week and until our next go round i say r i guess i'm used to little dude being with me but until my next go round i will talk to you guys soon um be good bye